going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and I just woke up. I usually wake up at like 3 p.m. because I am a bag of shit. Um, it is like 9.30 right now. I'm about to drop off the McLaren. We're taking it in, okay? The McLaren is having some issues. It's been too reliable and I gotta change that. I'm used to my cars breaking down like every other week. So I want the McLaren to join that family of being just unreliable, just like everything else I own. I'm joking, but no, we are gonna go and finally start the McLaren build. I'm starting this vlog indoors because like I said, I just woke up and it is super bright outside and I can't take that, I'm too fragile. We're taking the McLaren to Voodoo Autosport and they're gonna be putting on their brand new custom uh, exhaust for like 650s and 12Cs. It looks gnarly, I've heard it through a phone. Haven't heard it in person yet, but they're gonna be doing that. We're gonna be doing E85 as well. Um, I'm not doing anything to the turbos yet, just blow off valves, E85, um, exhaust, maybe, I think intake filters, but like nothing crazy. It's pretty much gonna be full bolt on E85 and it should make over 700 wheel horsepower, but we shall see. Now I already know people are gonna say, Drew, why aren't you doing any of this yourself? You're not a real car guy. I am not qualified to work on any of my cars. I do, but I'm definitely not qualified to work on the McLaren. I'm not qualified to work on this. Like, I'm, like I said, I'm barely qualified to work on that, and it's just because I'm an idiot. Um, but yeah, this whole rear end is going to change. Like the exhaust setup that they made is so beautiful. It's getting rid of this whole rear grill. Like you'll see, it's, it's hard to explain. It's gonna be a rear exit, but instead of it being these two half cut HDMI ports, it's gonna be like just two big ass circles sticking out. It's gonna look way cooler and way more modern. But anyways, let's get one more cold start on the stock McLaren 12C Sport exhaust, and then we will head over there. So let me finish waking up, eat my breakfast, and then dip. My breakfast will probably consist of like a half a pop tart. Living the life, am I right? All right guys, today is the day. I know it's a weird cut. We just went from dropping it off to now I'm picking it up. Where's the whole process of them working on it? Well, don't worry, Voodoo Auto Sport actually has a YouTube channel and Bilko, my roommate, was down there filming it the whole time. So they have the whole process in one or two videos. I'll link them in the description down below. They'll be uploading maybe an hour after I upload mine. So I might just tell them to upload at the same time. That way you guys can just jump right over to their shit. But um, yeah, go check out their stuff if you wanna see the whole process and every little thing that they did. I'm gonna go down there right now with my brother and we're gonna go pick up the car. The only, the only sad part is it's raining outside. All right guys, we made it. They have a couple beautiful cars waiting out here. I don't see mine yet, sadly, but uh, they're just being nice. They're keeping it out of the rain. So yeah, I see some green exhaust tips. That's kind of weird. Let's go check it out. This looks fucking nice. Hey, it's, still, it's still got turbo, so it's still not as loud as like a four five eight. Yeah. Fucking Aventador or something like that, but it's still. You just keep You have no button here. I know it's weird. <laughs> you gotta finesse it a little. Car now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, okay, but stock it. It, is. <laughs> it didn't sound like that before, obviously. Wow, it sounds way better. God damn. Oh, a lot more, yeah. That's great. 100% street legal parts. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> I'm still grinning just from hearing that shit, dude. That shit sounds amazing. Like, it's a supercar. Like, I don't want to put quotations around it. Like, the McLaren's obviously a supercar, but now it sounds like a supercar. Like, it has that throaty feeling, and it doesn't sound like, just like a stock car. It sounds so much better. I can't stop grinning. I'm so happy with how it sounds. I wish I could go drive it. I mean, I'm gonna, but I mean, like, I wish I could really drive it, but we'll have to wait till a sunny day for that. But, dude, I am so far happy as a, I don't know. I can't even think of a good analogy. I'm just super happy. I'm a happy camper right now oh my god okay they're checking the oil level and then they're gonna button the rest of it up um, but that's their in-house exhaust that they make and it's like all ceramic coated and stuff and it's like it's got 
oh, it's just so nice. It just sounds so good. I think they upped the diameter and all that stuff on the piping. It is just really impressive stuff, and I'm super happy with how it sounds. So they're still buttoning it up, but they went ahead and showed me my factory filters, which, as you can see, look disgusting. And the reason they look disgusting is because they sucked in the foam from the insulator box. So the McLaren was actually down on power for God who knows how long. Like, it was actually slower than it should have been which is funny because it beat a lot of cars. So I'm wondering if I had good filters and they weren't clogged up like this, what other cars would it have beat? Look at all that, there's just foam inside it, like just chunked up, it's so nasty. Luckily it doesn't look like anything got inside because that wouldn't be good. settling down dude it sounds so good I got some other stuff they're working on right here 570 I think it's an 812 they had another Ferrari here but oh my god dude this I'm so excited to get this thing out on the road lower right yeah switch forward and now oh okay yeah I see so then so to cycle forward. through so push forward and then if I go push up down. Oh, I see. So that'll cycle through. So now you're on tune one. Okay. No. Uh, okay. So yeah. tune one. Yeah. Is 91 performance. Okay. Tune two is 91 performance with pops, bangs, and all the fun fuck boy shit. Fun. Tune <laughs> three is your E85 performance. Okay. Which you'll drive on mostly if you're gonna run E85. Yeah. Tune four is the one that has the pops, the bangs, the fire, all the fun shit. Okay. And then tune five is your valet. It's valet. Sweet. Okay. Yep. Cool. So right now just go. Uh, so yeah. Just push forward. It'll go to two. Okay. Yeah. So I'm on two already. Yep. Okay. Cool. That's Perfect. Sweet. Fuck yeah. So I drove the car a lot yesterday. Obviously the rain was a bit restricting on what I could do. So I was just having fun with the blow off valves. You know, I made a loose traction a couple times, but I didn't obviously want to go full power into it. And also with this E85 blend too, I don't know what my E content is. It's not like the Supra where I have a gauge that says, you know, E70 or whatever. I barely had any 91 in the tank, so I'm probably okay. But I'm gonna drive it around for a bit then top it off with E85, and then I should be good. There's no way that I'm gonna be below E70 at that point, and it's not like it's a super, super aggressive tune either. Voodoo is really good with their tunes, unlike other shops, where they want your car to last. They don't want it to blow up after, you know, a short period of time and then have to rebuild the motor and then blow it up again, then rebuild the motor and blow it up again. They don't want that. They want their cars to last. They put enough power in it to make it really fun and really fucking fast, but they don't want you to go through the hassle of blowing shit up or even worrying about it. So that's one thing that I like about them compared to other shops. There's a lot of other supercar shops out there that love to make their cars look and sound crazy, but their lifespan is very, very short. So, so far, I mean, it's only been a day. I don't want to speak too soon, knock on wood. So far, car's been really good and uh, I'm just super excited. It's not raining. So the car is up to temp. I took off traction control because mama didn't raise no bitch. So we're gonna go and do a pull in a second on the China tires. I don't have my new wheels yet, sadly, and I'm not gonna put China tires on those, but these China tires have been putting in some pretty good work for me, so I don't know. I'm gonna see how they react to a lot more power. Once I get over to the border really quick, I'll give it some some go-go juice and we'll see how she reacts. I'm not gonna get too heavy into it because, like I said, it still has a blend, but I will get into it. It's not too much. Not balls deep, as you like to say. All right, I can maybe get on it a little bit. I'm not gonna go into the lowest gear possible, but let's see, we're in six, five, we'll go to four. Holy shit, holy shit. Dude, it spools so quick. I mean, it's the same turbo, I kind of expected that, but I just kind of eased onto it and it just jolted. Holy shit. Here. I am a Mustang driver after all.
third shift in a car? I think since I got my Mustang back. That is, that is quick. That is, I'm not, oh my, I can't even speak. My foot isn't even all the way down and I'm still short shifting it. Holy shit. Watch this guy, I'll get into the middle lane.
windy, so I hope you guys can hear me. But let me just talk about what they actually did to the car. So they installed their custom center exit exhaust for the 12 season, the 650s. Uh, mine is the second car to get it, so this is the second one that they've ever, ever actually put on a car, I guess. It ditches the factory rear grille and puts on their laser cut rear grille that matches all of the other honeycomb throughout the car, so it looks modern, it fits the car, it doesn't have those nasty bars anymore, and it ditches the HDMI exhaust tips and puts on these nice circle exhaust tips. Little laser cuts in them, 45 degree angle, and the exhaust pipes are right in there. So that's one thing, it's catless down pipes now. We got rid of my old air filters and put on some new higher flow ones. It's like a K&N, but like the European version of it. We got Venta Atmosphere blow-off valves, and we're on E85 with five different maps. So um, I'm just gonna drive it around in the E85 map, obviously. Well, neighborhood, get used to hearing this noise. The car sounds amazing. It looks amazing now from the rear. It looks way more updated than like, like I said before, the HDMI tips. And these nice black girthy tips just make it look super pretty. But yeah, I'm super happy with what Voodoo did to the car. I'm super happy with how it performs. I love how it looks, I love how it sounds. And I can't wait to data log it to see just how much more we can squeeze out of it. The wind picked up a bit, so I went and hid in my little cave. Um, fuck, my hair is dog shit. Anyways, we still have some parts coming for it. I have my new wheels coming, like I said earlier. I can't wait for you guys to see those. They are going to just like completely change the car. And uh, I, I think a lot of you guys are gonna be shocked with what I went with. It's gonna be super crazy. I can't even hype it up enough. Can't wait for that. And then I think the car needs a wrap after that and to be lowered and some other little things. But yeah, I'm super happy with the car. Like I said before, thank you Voodoo. It just exceeded my expectations with what you guys could do with such an old platform and stuff like that. Like it's a 2012, but that motherfucker feels like a 2020. Like this thing is just ridiculously quick. So guys, like I said earlier, if you guys wanna check out the whole process of what they did to it, go click the link in my description down below to go to Voodoo's YouTube channel. You guys can see the whole install process and everything of what they did, all the befores and afters. Go check it out, link in the description down below. Follow them on Instagram, subscribe to see more videos like this one, and until next video, peace.